just let the train go past. Yeah. Hello and welcome to a short but important White Wanderer video. So as this goes out, the channel would have just ticked over to a thousand subscribers, which is absolutely fantastic. We were happy enough with a hundred, but thanks to you guys, we are now at a thousand, which is a massive thing for us. So sincerely, thank you. Now, if you are a subscriber, then chances are you watched our Disused Railways of the Isle of Wight series that we did this summer. And if you watched the last episode of that series, then you probably heard me mutter these words. So that's it, that's the final station, number 40 of 40 on the list. Now the day after that video went out we received a comment on one of our other videos by a very informative internet person and it reads, I'll put it up on the screen for you, I won't read the whole thing out but in summary it says basically, guys you missed one. So today I've come out on this bitterly cold December morning to Lake a town situated on the southeast coast of the island between Sandown and Shanklin. And I'm here to tie up a loose end. Now I've been obsessed with the island's railways for a very long time, since I was a little boy in fact. And I am by no means an expert on the subject, but I thought I at least knew of every station that ever existed on the island. But I was wrong. Before I dig too deep into the humble pie though, we have to take a look at the definition of what a station is. Some will suggest a station or a halt is any kind of structure where trains are known to stop for passengers. Others though would go further and say a station would need to be at least a semi-permanent structure and appear on a railway timetable. Now of course, the second definition does have some exceptions. Whippingham and Watchingwell, for example, are two private stations on the island built for either royalty or a wealthy landowner. And as such, they didn't originally appear in a public railway timetable. Now the station we are trying to find today, the so-called station, if you want to call it that, also didn't appear on a public railway timetable, but for a very different reason. If we go by the first definition I gave though, then you could perhaps call this a station. Certainly on this old map kindly shown to me by a member of the Railways of the Isle of Wight group on Facebook, it is depicted as one. One thing is for certain though, very little is known about it. In fact, it seems that one of the only references to the station itself is in this book by Maycock and Salisbury. A book I am ashamed to admit I don't yet own. But luckily, the very same informative internet person very kindly showed me an excerpt from that very book. It states that in 1889, after the residents of Lake were for some reason refused their own station for a good while, a platform was constructed alongside the cricket ground ready to use in August. For this information, I am incredibly grateful. Now I doubt anything at all exists of the structure. If it did, it would probably be that side of the fence where the railway is. But I'm gonna have a quick look anyway and see if I can find anything without rousing too much suspicion with the locals. Even though the platform certainly did exist, it wouldn't be long before the residents of Lake would once again be without a station, as nothing appears on the late Victorian OS maps suggesting that by the end of the 19th century, it had already been dismantled. You have to see it very well, but Skew Bridge is right there. But I reckon the platform itself would have been about there. Yes. And uh, if there is anything left of it. Obviously, I can't hop over the fence because it's against the law. Back on the other side of the road, you can probably get a better view of where it would have stood, with a little help from a giant pointy hand. So that's it. It's the first lake station, the one that not many people knew about. I certainly didn't know about it until about two weeks ago. So there you go. That is not quite the end of the story though, because as you probably know, Lake does have a station today. 
served by the Island Line. It was built in 1987, just under 100 years after the temporary one was erected next to the cricket ground. So the residents of Lake did get the station they were campaigning for, eventually. So that's it, every station on the island finally ticked off the list. That's of course until someone comments on this video and says, actually Einstein, you missed another one. Until then though, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and uh, we will see you in 2024. Have a happy new year. If you want to watch some of our other videos on the channel, then I'll include a link to a couple just up here for you. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, then you can always do that by clicking over that side of the screen. Uh, thank you very much once again. All the best and take care. I'm going for a hot chocolate.